But one thing is for sure, this room is not changing until the rest of the house changes beforehand. That's it, this is the sacrifice room. We're gonna roll with it. Yes, yes, the people, this is the kitchen where Aisha is refurbishing a piece of furniture. That's not what this video is. This is what this video is about. Welcome to I Hate the Downstairs Room, part three, and hopefully the last one. We're doing the floor and the walls, but especially the floor. And we start with these. Ah. The sub layer. This weighs 13 and a half kilos. So it's a premium product from Wix. Wix, sponsor me please. Basically we set them at exactly 30 centimeters between each other. The proof is right here. We have 29 and a half, 30.2, 30.1. Yep, 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 yep. And also before you ask, I did double check. It is with the checkers, the shiny part facing up. Now, let's do it the Romanian way. Because tape. It was easier than I thought it was going to be. A lot of duct taping with this really good, like genuine aluminium tape. Next up, the polystyrene. Look at all them chickens. <laughs> Sooner or later, we're gonna have to do the stairs. And where the wall was straight up damaged with a hole through it when we took out the chimney. But for now, we focus on that. Good morning, caballeros. Today, we're doing some measurements because we have more than enough materiales. How many of these do we need to completely cover the floor with? Oh my crap, how flimsy it is this. Are you one of those people that hate the squeaky noise of polystyrene like my girlfriend? Because if so, you should mute this part of the video. As one. Two, definitely three, with this, this bit of a gap left. So, uh, 27 centimeters with two and a half meters length. What the big issue is really, and I should have mentioned, is the floorboards. Brand new solid wood floorboards that would match the aesthetic of the rest of the house 
are expensive, son. They're like 12 pounds per piece of wood. So I looked at the reclaimed floorboards. However, at 85 pounds per square meter and me needing approximately 15 meters, bit of a problem. By my math, I have already saved 2.5 thousand pounds approximately doing all of this job myself. And at this point, I'm going for a record. I'm really trying to see how much money I can save doing it all by myself. Good morning. I have had too much coffee in the last half an hour. Shall we get to work? Yes. Yes, we should. Reclaimed new floorboards from 1920, the oak, they seem to perfectly match the house and overall it's coming at a decent price because we're gonna come out with approximately 1050 pounds spent on both the wood, the transport from Newcastle and the sanding of it. So it's going good, I am stoked to finally have a third available bedroom in the house because for as long as I've lived here since 2021, the office, as you can see, has just always been a bit of a sacrifice room. It's good to finally have it functional. Box number one and box number two. These are the boxes which I keep stuff I'm going to use for building, supplies, like the floor is meant to be coming in two days slash three from now. Happy Easter. Still, everyone, it's Easter Monday in my time. I'm looking for the sandpaper, which I had loads of left over since I did the current office. Bedroom number two, the upstairs bedroom, the one opposite my bedroom. I've been up here for a while. Where are they, you say? Where are the papers? Could they be here? Underneath? Yes, it most certainly totally can. I say, easy to find. It was not. That's my problem, yo. Every time I put something safely so I know where to get it from, it's so safe and so secure and so obvious that I never remember where that is. Floorboards. 20 plus square meters of it. Let's do some Lego. Yep, these are 13 and a half. actually better than I expected. Design time! We're gonna try and lay down a few floorboards, a few rows to get us started and then tomorrow we rent what we need to actually hammer them in place. And a few other bits. So this has been day one. Well, technically this is day 562, no joke. Now this is day one of working on the floor. Let's do that. This is design and orientation. Si, senor. I'm gonna go to Asda and get food because I'm hungry. Yes, I was hungry. So I went and I bought turkey mints and pasta. So this is the segue into tomorrow in the video. Pick it up from here. I'll tell you one thing. Um, selecting through this wood to separate usable from unusable 
Took a whole day when you do the math. There's a whole lot of floor left. Yes, this one is drying. Or oh, 24 hours later, should already dry. The tongue was a bit split, but now it is not. So that goes back in the house. Let's clear up the space a little bit. I'm doing adult Lego again. Watch this, watch this. This is what I've been making all that noise about. That, that two hand bro. Pew! 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 <laughs> How do you feel? I feel like all those years of uh, playing Lego pays off every day I build something in this place. Lego, sponsor me. I'm gonna go ahead and label the floorboards in a system in which we can then install them easily. I am making a video, but I figured I'd also talk to you at the same time. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Right. Efficiency. One B. 1C, 2A. You get the point. I'm doing this now. Sixty-nine. We have sixty-nine pieces, boo. Yeah, boy. It's the day, it's finally arrived. We are going to rent ourselves a hardwood nailer gun and install the floor today and tomorrow. I have never done this before. I am a little bit scared. Some practice might need to be had, but nonetheless, I am excited. Very mucho greatly. Wish me luck. There's Alan's car. We got it. Let's get to work. Yeah, we really found each other, man. We're a yeah. pair. Here it is. The piece that starts everything. Foraging. Aki is, uh, yeah, foraging. <laughs> Alan? Aki is getting five foot in his pocket, <laughs> plastic. Yeah, but only. It's a business trip to get them. <laughs> oh my god, it's so far away, isn't it? Costume change up. The thing broke, the hammer broke, and me and Alan spent a good time taking it apart and fixing it because the rental place was closed and we're on a tight deadline. We have about 10 days to finish this room until mom arrives. But, neighbor Bogdan, there is another Bogdan in the neighborhood, true story. He helped me fix it and now it works again, so we're gonna swap back into the shit clothes and continue as much as possible. Now 
not a total waste of time. Tomorrow's gonna be a full day now that the gun is working perfectly, better than when I got it. Except I hit myself in the ankle with the mallet and that's painful. Hey yo skis, we just completed with great difficulty row 14. Just five more rows to go. Well, I don't know what time it is because my watch ran out of battery, so... This has been my day today. Originally I thought that long planks would be easy because it's just one piece, right? They are by far the most difficult to assemble. Three more rows to go. And no space to swing. This is the single smallest piece. I've had to make seven centimeters. Not much bigger than a sandwich. Now, of course, it's got to give me drama. Uh, Five hours later. I fucking give up. It. That's the second time I make that mistake. Cut the groove off by accident. Um, it's fine. There's no more room. I already chipped at my wall in a few places. I'm done. You know, I was super excited at the beginning of this video. Fuck that. I'm done. I'm gonna try and calm down because Rome was not built in a day and whatever. I'm just super tired. Everything that could have gotten wrong went. Don't go to bed angry. Good mother. The last two rows Because yes, Palominios, there is so much floor left. Hallelujah, because I've been able to pick and choose when I went wrong, when I made a mistake. Not the yesterday's anger management issues. Oh, I'm done. I'm not doing a floor ever in my life. Anyway, we're here to get something kind of like this. This will actually be great. We're using this part, which is good. And then the last, we don't give a shit. Because we're going to cut a portion of it. Nice, nice. Echo. Okay, let's fucking go. We're busy. Here we go. The actual last piece. It's too long. Isha, the sun goddess, brings us sun. You're welcome. I really hope that track is uh, royalty free, because if not... <laughs> I'm watching Casey Neistat's videos from the top because I missed that inspiration. But today it is 10.59. My Apple Watch is broken. It's time to unleash the mess. We're this close and mom is arriving in the UK in a literal 10 days. 
So there's time, but it feels like there's not. So I'm under pressure, I'm against the clock, against time, but I'm not. I think it's from up here. Bit mental, your boy. It's still early, it's still 4.13 and there's still plenty of light. I've still got a solid two hours of light to at least do one round of sanding now that I've even filled up the gaps. Anyway, taking a break now. I'm kinda hungry too. That's it. That's done. That is done for today. Primarily because I ran out of paper. Because it snapped like eight times. Day two of sanding. I got myself 45 sheets. Just to be sure. Apparently it snaps because it's oak. Didn't realize oak is so tough, which is a good thing. I made a dust angel. Wow. I learned so much from the previous rooms doing the previous floors that this one is actually coming out and the quality of the wood was immense. So thanks again to the guy who sold it to me. It's cardboarding time, covering the floor while we ready the walls. Obviously went everywhere. Oh. 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Aisha's doing a great job. Oh, sorry, sorry. This was bogus time. Painted the walls and they look why you cannot see the damage that was once upon a time behind them. I'm stoked. Thank you to Aisha for your help. Three days to go or four, I don't even know, till my mom arrives. And then all the hype about wrapping it up, I forgot about one very important thing. <laughs> I guess I need to sand the radiator a little bit, spray paint it, and then install it after we varnish the floorboards. I can't speak today. There's still water in this, that's the problem. Gotta set up the next shot. Also, the apple tree makes a great tripod. Serious, hung it right here. Excellent tripod, look how pretty it is. It's 8 in the morning, the walls are overwhelmingly white, which is a good thing that paint job is a success. This is the last part of the video. Are you excited for me? Because I am just sick of this world. But happy as we're coming to the end of I Hate This Room Part 3. Now, it's from this side. And I managed to break the light switch, so that is one trip to screw fix on the books today. You know, I love driving with the roof down when I look my absolute worst. It makes me feel like an important nobody. One quick trip to screw fix. We have what we need. Hopefully I can get this done today. Two whole days until mom arrives. Will the room be finished? Is today the last day? Do I have just a little bit left to do in the room? Yes to all of these questions. Got to close the boot. Quick trip to B&Q to get more varnish. I think I have enough, but just in case. I don't want to be in that situation where I need it and I don't have it. I'd, I'd blur it. See what it like to trans Look at this guy, you rich bastard. Sweet home even stopped by the Romanian shop to get mom's favorite beer, which won't fit in the fridge because I got a care package from her earlier today. There's still more. Check out the amount of pufulets she sent me, 31 bags. Weird number, still. Anyway, what's the point? I got a parking fine. Stop for five minutes.
two rows at a time. I think it came out fantastic, fabulous. Mom loves it, the neighbors love it, I love it. We ended up doing six thick coats of varnish on the floor. Hey, Mama, what do you think? It's, it's called for the opera. opera. This is your room, we did it for you. Have to clean the windows though, because they are. <laughs> then I saw this spewed at him. You have to stay the Listen, they really messed up my wall. My wall is in pieces on the floor, but whatever, the walls I can fix. The floor is in one piece and that's what's important. Oh, gata. We're done. One couch with all of this madness. This would have been good to say for that. Paper waste rant vlog I did last week. Still, we have a couch bed. So there we go. Coming to the end of the video, my hair has grown so much, I need to borrow my girlfriend's hairband to keep it in check. But this has been uh, by far the longest video I've made on YouTube. We started working on this room in March 2023. This room extended into a year and two months. So now we come to this point of the video that I've been dying to figure out. According to some original quotes that I got, this room would have cost around five and a half thousand pounds. How much did it cost me? This much. Is this price difference worth a year of not having the room accessible? Yes, it absolutely is. I did not actually need this room because there are only two people living here. Had I had a child or another person living with us, very different situation. It would have probably taken me two years to renovate. For one thing is for sure, the floor came out amazing. And the wall behind me, don't freak out. We're gonna do that in due time, but that's gonna be a hobby. That's not a mission, nor is it a task on some sort of tick list. Just like in the video when we made our first wall, when we lived in that rented flat, we're gonna have fun with this over time. Still need a new door, a nice door, but who cares, man? So there you go. 15 months later, we get to finish this video. It's a good test for retention. Let's see how long you can bear to watch this entire 40 minute edit. But hey, if you have made it this far, then do me a solid and press that subscribe button and then the bell thing to get notifications when I upload something new, because I'm learning a lot throughout these DIYs these home improvements and I want to share with you guys also leave a comment if I screwed up at any point throughout this video how did I do it what did I do wrong how could I have done it better uh, let me know in the meantime yo stay tuned there's more coming out on social media and now videos from the front garden because we're going for a home decoration series season right now anyway stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video Later.